What's going on guys? Enzo here from Enzo's Geckos. I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. Today we're going to be making an entire leopard gecko setup for my Ublepharus Hardwicky. She's pretty much leopard gecko. She's got the exact same care requirements as a leopard gecko, just a little bit more humidity and um, a little bit colder temperatures. But this would be a great setup for a leopard gecko too. So we're going to get right to it today. So uh, yeah, well, let me show you guys what we got. So this is the current setup that she's in. She's just in this tiny little like five or 10 gallon tank right here. Also, Huge shout out to uh, David from Bubba's Geckos for sending me his Christmas card. It's absolutely adorable. Anyway, this is what we've got here. This is a 25 gallon uh, Repta Habitat kit. I left it in the box right now because we are about to go to Lowe's and get tiles inside because I want to use tiles as the floor and then we're going to put a heat mat under it. So uh, let's get over to Lowe's and get these tiles in. All right guys, so I took the top and the bottom off and I gave everything just a quick wipe down with some um, high killing bacteria virus type stuff. We got, uh, there was a lot of smudges on the windows that I cleaned off with some uh, window spray too, glass cleaner. So it's looking good right now and we're gonna get the tiles in here because, there we go. We're gonna put the tiles in the bottom and slice them up so they are nice and good. And then we're gonna put the tiles on, put the heat under. I'm probably gonna think, think about putting the heat right under here. Get, get like a Zoomed heat mat or something like that. And then, uh, yeah. Well, uh, let me update you guys once the tile is in. All right guys, so as you can see, we got this tile in right here. We got two of these big old pieces. They're pretty much about that same size and we just cut one of them all the way off and now they are put right here. I'm gonna think and I might designate this one as the poop corner for my gecko. I mean, I'll put some paper towels on this side, but just because this one is a little bit easier to uh, pull up and get out versus this big old slate right here. But of course we will be doing some deep cleans every once in a while, maybe like every three months, every six months. But anyway, this is here so the bottom is all the way set. Now we're gonna get a heat mat for under there and I'm kind of thinking I want to put some kind of background here. I don't like just looking through to my wall. I want to get something I'm thinking of some kind of like bark or something like that that you might find a uh, Hardwicky in in the wild or a leopard gecko in in the wild. So let's uh, let's see what we can do next. All right guys, all of the hides came so we have, we'll have a warm hide, a cold hide, and a humid hide for my leopard gecko for in this, for in this tank. So open this up I couldn't think of a background I couldn't really come up with something I don't want to have a background that's inside the cage because otherwise when I do a deep clean it's gonna be really difficult for that type of thing to be on there and be stuck on there and it's just gonna be difficult so I'm just gonna get some kind of printed background to put behind the glass here just because I really want something because I don't want to be looking at my wall and I want it to look um, more special I would say but anyway what we're gonna do right now is we are going to hook up the thermostat right here we're gonna get we're gonna get this thermostat right here and the heating pad that's attached right here under here and we're gonna put it right around there so the right side is gonna be the warm side and then I'm going to designate this to be the cold side so I'm gonna get the other hides in a second and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about but first uh, let me get the heat mat under here Alright guys, so I just put the heat pad right here and now we've got the Vivarium, uh, Vivarium Electronics 200 thermostat right here um, I'm trying to warm it up right now probe is right here once again the heat pad is right under so I'm just gonna let it warm up a little bit with the uh, thermostat here now that it is attached but we're gonna get the hides pretty soon and we're gonna lay them down in here all right guys so here's the first hide this is gonna be the one that's gonna be on the warm side of the cage I'm gonna set it right over here and put the probe through it so then it can loop under and we can get the reading on that and make sure it's warm so we got the warm side right here then we got this little one this little log right here I thought this is good because, I don't know, I feel like a leopard gecko would live in a log. And then we've got this little one right here, and this is gonna be the humid hide. I'm just gonna put some Eco Earth in here. Um, I'm gonna do that right after this, but I'm just showing you guys, just so you guys can see the setup. And then this is a perfect little space that my gecko would wanna crawl into. And I'm gonna put this on the cold side. So there we go, we've got three little hides for her right now, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a close up real quick right now, so let's do that. So like I said, here's the warm side. We've got the probe under here and the heat mat, so it's gonna warm it up. Then we've got the uh, medium side. This side is a little bit in between and she can hide under here if she needs to. And then we have the cool side where I'm putting the humid hide. I could put the humid hide in the middle or I could put this one on the cold side. It doesn't really matter. Um, my preference is just to have this little one in the corner, but this is gonna be a great hide for her too. So now what I'm thinking is putting some paper towels right down here in this corner so then if she has to poop, she can do it right there and that will be her little designated corner so it'll be really easy for me to clean. So uh, yeah, let's do that real quick. All right guys, I just put the paper towel right here so hopefully she'll use this as her poop corner. 
because that corner is a little bit crowded. So now we're just gonna get the water and food bowl and uh, the little calcium bowl that we have from Gekopia. My buddy Chris from Gekopia sent it to me. So anyway, let's get that in there and then we're gonna put the gecko in. All right, now we got the little Gekopia food bowl in here. And we got the mealworms, got the calcium dish, and we've got a little water bowl right there. Got, once again, got the worm hide right here. That's gonna start warming up pretty soon. Medium hide right here, and we're gonna fill the humid hide before we put my gecko in, and then it should be completely set up. So I just mixed up some eco earth and put it in the humid hide right here. We're gonna put that in the corner. Then we're gonna put this right on top. Nice and pretty just like that. And there we go. This is the complete leopard gecko setup that you should be having for your leopard gecko into 2021. Obviously, you could do a lot more than this. Um, I'm probably gonna start adding more stuff here, add more decorations, more uh, st fake plants or whatever, uh, fake bark, that kind of stuff. But this is really all you need. You need a warm side with a warm hide on top of it. You need a medium hide. Uh, a medium temperature hide. It's not just a medium hide, it is a medium temperature hide because this is the warm side and as it gets further away from the warmth it gets cooler and cooler so this is another hide just in case she gets a little bit hot here your leopard gecko would want to go in there. Then we've got the coolest hide which is also the humid hide for when the gecko is shedding. It's able to shed its skin in something comfortable like that and in, in case it, you have a female leopard gecko and she's going to be laying eggs at any point this is also a great thing to put your leopard gecko in to lay their eggs and uh, they will decide to lay their eggs in there most likely so then we also got right here of course is the poop zone so i can just swap out paper towels when she poops there hopefully i don't think she would be pooping in any of the other corners just because there's not as much space as there is that one and then of course we do have our food bowl this was sent to me, like I said, by, for, by Chris from uh, Gekopia. Go check out his products, he's got some cool stuff. Right now we're just gonna be feeding mealworms along with a uh, offering of calcium and then a little water bowl right there to fill up every few days. Now that we have this completely set up, the only thing we're missing now is the gecko. All right, everybody, so we're gonna be putting Safari, my Ublepharus Hardwicky. She's a East Indian leopard gecko into this enclosure right here. I thought the log would be a great addition just because she is, um, she would be found in East India, which is like a very foresty region um, in India. So there you go. You can just go ahead and climb right in there. And now you got this big enclosure all to yourself. So she's super cool. And now that concludes the leopard gecko setup. This is exactly how I like to have it. And I'm going to be giving you guys some updates as I spice it up over the next couple of months, couple of weeks, whatever I do to decide to add um, some stuff in here. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, this is the complete leopard gecko setup. There we go.